Hi folks, thanks again for joining me, another watercolour demo. Um, today it's like a little cabin by the water, water side of a snaking path, and our little man and his dog walking, admiring the view over there. Um, Quickly look at my new book before I show you the colours. This is volume three of my watercolour made simple series. You'll see the links on Amazon um, down in the description. Um, got nine step by step photographic guides to each painting just to guide you through it nice and simple I always try and keep everything as simple as I possibly can so that's on Amazon hardback softback Kindle so as for the colours for this painting we've used ultramarine lemon yellow Payne's grey lizard crimson I didn't use the raw sienna I don't think I used the burnt umber so just uh, that one that one that one that one and light red for this one uh, most of it was always done with a large hike little flat brush I just used to put a bit of colour in the building and then two riggers, number three rigger and then just a tiny little rigger just for the figures and the little birds so let's kick this one off then a bit of water, stop the paper from going all crinkly then down the bottom I'm going to take a bit of, just a touch of red and then a bit of lemon yellow brush that in like that Fill those gaps in. I'm going to clean the brush. And then above that, I'm going to go a bit of ultramarine, just a touch of a lizarding, only a hint. Brush that in. Just keep catching that yellow, but it's not to worry. Brush that down into that yellow slightly. And then take a bit of that crimson. Do that blue. We've got some crimsony clouds just above the horizon. Just I'm just dab dab dab. No more than that. I'm going to take a tissue. Where the paint's coming down, I'm just going to create some clouds. It's only a light ultramarine wash, so it's the clouds aren't going to show up massively. But it all adds to the little bits of texture in the sky, all interest. And then on the far side of the river, we've got some trees and things. So back into that yellow, a bit of blue, oh, just a bit of crimson as well. Most of the sky colours. This is the furthest land we can see. Just try and level that off. And then we're going to go a quick dry, stop it coming down. Really. Just make sure that's flat against the paper. Into the ball, the, is what I meant to say. Right now, we've got some big trees now on the left hand side. So, I'm just going to a bit of crimson, a bit of blue, a bit of yellow. And I'm popping these, just twisting the brush around, trying to get random shapes and patterns. Yeah, a little bit darker. Bring that down to the bottom. So I'm going to scrape out a house down there. A little bit higher down at that end. I'm just trying to vary this colour as I'm, as I'm working my way around. Bring it down to the base somewhere. Behind it, there's just a few little things and whatnot growing around the back. Just pop a few little trunks and branches and things growing amongst these trees there. It's 
especially through the, the gaps. Hopefully you've left a few gaps. I forgot to mention that. Try not to just block it in completely. See a few on the side as well. Just a few coming out of there. And a few things growing. Right now I want to take my card, I'm quite a big house now, so I'm going something like Oh hang on, that's not coming off very well, is it? I don't think that's flat, I think that's the problem. Let's try that again. Let's use the other end this time. Bring that down a little bit. And it's got a few posts and just scratching out some random details. You know what I've done? I've done that too. I haven't know if you look with the she's gonna have to be on a hill or something. Yeah, it's gonna to have to be a hill. So that's all we do, we just, just adapt to what's there. So I'm just putting the fence down. I mean to do that, sort of level with that, but it's not a problem. I'm just gonna stick a, a telegraph pole there as well. I always think they look quite nice. Scratch a few more little details in. Don't know what they are, could be anything. Just, just random marks. See, that looks like a little boat without even trying. The more you scrape around, the more little, as the Rob, Bob Ross used to say, happy little accidents, things like that. So I'm gonna clean the brush. Let's go back into that yellow. Just a touch of blue in there as well. Quick sweep down there. Back into that. Have a little bit of red as well. And then in the foreground. Just fill in some of these white bits if they need filling in. Um, I'm trying to think. I want some. First of all, let's just. Let's give that a quick dry. paint was coming down, I just didn't want to come down any further than that. So what I might do next, that sort of continues over there. And that is the water there, just reflecting the colour from the sky. That's all that is. Could probably do with it, it's a little bit darker actually. Just want to darken all this a little bit. Darker tones in. Just a few darker tones amongst the lighter lighter colours. I don't want to paint over everything I've done. Just a few little dark bits in and there. Just to give the impression of a sort of setting sun. Not just darken that, just right above the house, just to really bring the house out. Paint around that roof. Don't want to paint over all the branches I've just done. Just a few little dabs and 
things amongst all this. Right, let's move over to the other side. So first, there's a few trees over here. It's just dark and sunny, you can see. Just got like two colours on the brush at the same time and it just helps create all the little, little variation in colours. Let's bring that down to the base. Um, again, let's switch to this little rigger brush. I'm just going to try and flick a few little branches and things in there. Just little details, they all bring interest to the scene. So it's easy stuff, I'll paint them in, in the gaps that I've, that I've done. A few little things growing next to that as well. Right now there's a, there is a path, I'm going to pop the path in first. Now the path, a bit of red, a bit of blue. And it's, it's sort of coming down from that edge and it's just sweeping, sweeping there like that. Let's clean the brush and let's just push that grass up to it. We'll try and get a bit of variety at the same time. So I'm back into that yellow. Just a touch of ultramarine in there as well. Touch of light red. Back into the yellows. Brush that in from over here. Ultramarine. A bit more of the mix. See in there, in those just dark little, just little dark tones. Just trying to add little bits of interest in amongst the grass area. Let's give that a quick dry. Put a little bit of colour into that house. So I'm just going to switch to the, this little flat brush I've got. Just a very, very weak blue wash. Just a bit of colour on the roof. It's only a very weak wash. A bit on that roof as well. And just a touch of red on the side. Just a touch. That'll do, that's all there is to it. Give that a quick dry. Well, let's, uh, let's have a bit of smoke coming out of there as well. Give the impression that there's a bit of life inside so I'm switching to the number three rigger brush then on the other hand I've got this bit of tissue it does help if it's clean mine's dirty don't worry about it I'm just going to use a damp brush you can imagine the chimney's there well, that's why I deliberately did that dark so that I can go like that and then all I'm doing I'm just sort of swirling it round I need a bit more water on this I'm just swirling it round trying to get sort of random smoky sort of shape 
it gets bigger and bigger as it comes away and then just dab it out with a tissue just make it a little bit more prominence where it's coming out of the building just looks like smoke's coming out of the chimney there right then need a little figure I think so I'm switching to the Tiny little rigger brush, this one here. Let's just take a bit of a, just a general mix off the palette, could be anything really. I'm just gonna it's be a little bit darker than that, I think. Man, he's getting bigger and bigger by mistake. Yeah. This is the man. I'm going to put a little dog. Little dog next to him. Some kind of shadow coming off him, I think. Um, I haven't done a proper shadow mix for this one. Something like that. Now I'm just going to just. A very simple little shadow mix. It's just a bit of light red and ultramarine. It's quite a weak wash. And I'm just going to, I've put some shadows off there and I'm, I'm just going to give a hint of just something coming. Casting shadows off the side. Just something there and there. That's all. Just a very subtle effect. To that little brush. I'm just going to pop just a little, I don't know, one, two, three little birds flying over the trees, and then finally I'm just going to pop my name. I'm going to pop it over here, I think. I'm going to call that one finished. So let's put a mount on it and see what it looks like. Here's our finished painting. So we're going to have a closer look. Now the first thing I put in was a bit of lemon yellow with a touch of light red in it for that sort of yellowy um, haze at the bottom, which you can just about, that's meant to be water down there. It's reflected the sky colour. Then there's a bit of ultramarine, a bit of ultramarine with uh, alizarin crimson for these clouds. And then the background, the hills in the background there, just completing that sort of backdrop that the, the sort of foreground and middle ground sort of sits against. Then we're down to these trees, a whole mishmash of colours in there, sort of autumn, autumn scene. And you can see, it looks quite complicated, but all it is is just a few strokes scraped out with the uh, with the card. Just a simple pop the roof in first, then pull down the sides. Bit of uh, telegraph wires and fence posts and just a few scrapes in and then suddenly you've got like a whole little, uh, almost like a little village in, in its own own right. 
but all it is, it's just random scrapings. But remember to put it dark, remember to put the, the, the dark paint behind it so that the scrapings show up be better. A few more trees on this side. Um, I had lemon yellow and Payne's grey on the brush at the same time, so you've got all this nice variation. Then in between all the gaps, you can see a little bit of rigor work to suggest all the twigs and the branches and all that sort of stuff. Then lemon yellow, see the, that sort of shadow effect at the base of the trees. Then we go lighter, just clean the brush and then put in lighter colours. Just keep varying it as you go along. Got the uh, bit of light red and ultramarine, sort of snake the path, always sort of doing a snakey way, it just looks better. A little man and his dog there, little shadows. And I've just popped in a few little, just subtle shadows here and there, just to help with the tones and whatnot. And then a few dots, bits of grasses as well. Again, just plenty of colour variation in the foreground there to keep it interesting. So that's it for this one. I hope you enjoy that. Thanks for watching as always. If you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Remember all the books on Amazon and all the rest of it, you'll see it all in the description. So keep practicing and I'll see you again soon.